Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing these little balloon LED lights. Um, I saw them on Amazon and I thought they were kind of neat and I uh, wanted to see how I could incorporate these into my 3D prints. Now I know what most of you are thinking is what does this have to do with 3D printing? Most of my videos are about 3D printing. Why the hell am I going over this thing? Well, it's very simple. Uh, once you've actually printed a 3D model, I've noticed some people like to inc uh, incorporate LEDs into them. They have to go get the LED light, they have to go get the uh, resistor, they have to go get the battery, and then they got to solder it and do all kinds of stuff on it. Well, this is going to eliminate all of that for you. Uh, and I'll give you an example of how we can relate this to 3D printing. And then I'm going to go over the features on that, which I think is pretty cool. So <clears throat> this right here is my ghost that I printed. It's supposed to be a somewhat of a replica of the Destiny game that's very popular out there. Um, I tried to go with the beat up look. Apparently didn't do too much of a great job. But anyways, um, this ghost here, if you've played the game, no, normally has a, a light that shines through here. So I didn't want to go and get all the parts and everything, which would have cost me about um, $6 roughly to put it all together. Instead, what I did is I took the back part, right? And this is the cap that goes, this is the cap that's supposed to insert into that part there so you just screw it on so what i did is i just made a hole right there and contrary to popular belief uh popular belief uh crazy glue or super glue gorilla glue does hold these things in place and that's what's holding this there okay so basically what it is is this is more of like a twist on so you just twist it on and you get that little glow right there and i just pop this sucker in place like so and there you go. I'm not gonna try to put it right on the camera because it's gonna give you that type of light, but you see it. Okay, so now I have a LED ghost that's already ready to go. Okay, so this is the blue one that I opted to get uh, and I think it works pretty good. And if I just wanna turn it off, all I gotta do is just pop this sucker right back off, twist it, and it's off and then I pop that in there like so and now it's not on but the LED is in there as you can see right there okay so <clears throat> with that said uh, I'm gonna go into a quick review on this thing I think this thing is amazing it's really worth it um, later on if I wanted I noticed some people have a LED here on their uh, where their nozzle is so they can see it printing in the dark some people have put LEDs under the strip which you can just mount right there and it's basically a twist on or off type of deal now this thing I bought from Amazon like I said it is a pack of 30 and I got it for about $12.95 the cool thing about this thing here is like I said it is a twist off so just go ahead and twist this sucker off and guess what it comes with the batteries if you were just to buy these batteries there's three batteries in each little uh, balloon LED light right there if you were to buy these separately uh, you'll be looking at maybe about a dollar fifty to two dollars a packet uh, but these are all included okay uh, so what you're gonna do when you first get it all you gotta do is see this little tab right here just gotta pull it out and once you do that it turns right on and it's pretty bright to be honest I mean if you can see for a little LED light I mean it's not bad so what you do is turn it off as you twist it and there you go you're all set now I did try these on balloons itself like it's meant to be and uh, to be honest they kind of suck <laughs> if you insert them into the balloon so I don't use it for that particular feature 
Uh, if you put two in one uh, in one balloon, then yeah, it works great. If all the lights are off and it's really dark, then you can see it. But it depends on which color of balloon you're using. Uh, but like I said, I didn't buy it for that application. So I'm just doing a review on this so maybe some of you guys can uh, actually get into this for, I mean, 13 bucks, guys. You get 30 of them with batteries included. Can't go wrong. But let's say if you didn't want to use this whole thing right here, okay? Did not want to use it. So what you can do is just go ahead and twist it off, okay? And as you twist it off, you get the end cap right there. And there's a plastic tube here. You don't want to take that out. If you take that out, it's constantly going to be coming off and on because it's going to connect to the, it's going to connect to the side. The batteries are going to make conduction and gives you an LED light. So, but for right now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go and take them out. These are the three little batteries that it comes with. That is the plastic wrapper that goes around the battery. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty clear. There you go. And then you have the tube itself. Now, the cool thing about this is if you just bang it out, now you just got a hollow tube. There's nothing in it. So you don't have to necessarily use that part. Here is your LED right here. Now, if you were to go and get some LEDs on your own from, let's say, Radio Shack or something, uh, you would get something like this with some line, uh, with some wires that come out about this big but you, there's still lines in there there's the metal uh, part that I don't know if you can see it or not but you can still solder these on uh, to your power which you can take off the printer itself because it doesn't take too much of a battery life but uh, that's basically it guys and then on this part if you do want to use this what I recommend is get a light sandpaper, maybe about 120 or so, or even smaller if you can. That would be great. You just take this part here and just rub it on the sandpaper like so. And what that's going to do is rough this part out. So instead of the LED shooting straight out through this hole here, it's going to disperse the light to give you more, uh, more range, I guess you can say. And uh, it'll work that way. But that's basically it. We'll put these to the side just take one of these you can glue them on do whatever you want to it just plug it in and uh, it works pretty good I mean look at how bright that sucker is from way up here as well so I think I think this would be a good investment for people that are looking to incorporate some kind of a LED into the 3D printing. So uh, my review on this little balloon LED lights, uh, they're somewhat great if you put them on an actual balloon. If you put two in one, they work great, uh, but one isn't powerful enough to get it going. But if you're going to incorporate this into a 3D model like I did, as far as my ghost, I think it's a great idea. Um, because there's there's so many small parts there's some prints that are so small that you might not be able to get the wire the battery all the soldering everything in there and with this one is basically plug and play if you want to use the cap you can use the cap if you don't want to use the cap just use the led and the three batteries that it comes with and like i said for 13 dollars roughly for a 30 pack um you can't go wrong and they come in all different uh, colors. They come in clear. I opted for the blue. Uh, there's purple, yellow, pink, per uh, teal, I think, that is another color. So, uh, yeah, check them out if you want to incorporate this into your 3D printing once it's done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I know this review really didn't have anything much to do with 3D as far as printing process. But once the printing is done... You can incorporate LEDs into it. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good day. And, of course, like always, happy printing. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!